Good afternoon guys, welcome to my video. Thanks for joining me today here on Hawaiian Knife and Gear. I've got another mixed bag of stuff here today. Some of the new items I've gotten in in the last couple of days here. So I wanted to share some of it with you. So first thing I wanted to talk about, this is a knife that I just got from a friend of mine the other day. This is the Kubi 162B. And this is my second Kubi knife very happy with this thing. This is a really nice, comfortable little knife, man. It's it's just perfect size and proportions for my hand. It fits really well. Overall, just a very comfortable knife. It's got good jimping, real nice thumb placement. It just, you know, feels really good in the hand. So, definitely was happy with this one. This is uh, obviously G10 over stainless liners with a D2 steel blade and if anybody was curious about Kubi stuff I have tested their D2 and it does actually check out as real tool steel so no Chinese D2 this is actual regular D2 steel so functional wise this is definitely a comfortable knife as far as I'm concerned. It's not the deepest carry clip, but the clip itself actually does go in and out of your pocket pretty easily. Maybe just a little bit pointy at this end, but not excessive. Um, got a nice comfortable flipper to it. Good snappy action. And just feels really good overall in your hand. So I do like the blade shape a lot. It's got kind of a little bit of recurve to it. Almost like a, a Bowie knife shape to it. Open back design, so you're not going to get pocket lint and junk caught in there. And then it is skeletonized on one of the liners for a little bit of weight relief. Let's see if I can get a weight on this guy. This one is four and a half ounces almost. So as far as an EDC knife, this is just about as perfect as it gets in my opinion. It just feels really good. This is a very nice everyday type of knife. Something you could really just carry and get a lot of work done with. It's pretty thin behind the edge, nice and slicey, nice flat grind to it, swedge on the top. Really comfortable knife overall. So the reason I actually brought the CH back out for this video, there are two things that I'm going to do to this knife and just two minor modifications, but I think that they'll help a lot as far as the comfort and the function on this thing. Same two modifications that I made on this one. I actually talked about wanting to do it in the video that I made on this knife, but I did go ahead and do them and I think it just overall made this one so much more functional and more comfortable. I took it apart and sanded down the G10 so it was you know, a little more comfortable in your hand. But what I did do is took this with my sander and cut this down a little bit and opened up this space for the thumb, dropped it down maybe a millimeter, two millimeters at the most. And it, it doesn't seem like much. You, I mean, if, you, if I didn't tell you that I did it, you probably couldn't even tell. It was pretty minor to do, but it just gives you a lot more access right there with your thumb and makes it a lot more comfortable to close this thing. That's the one thing going on with this Kubi. There's not a ton of room right there for your thumb, so when you push it over, you actually kind of have to use the tip of your thumb to get that lock bar over and you know with it being kind of jimmed right there on the lock bar it's not the most comfortable thing it'll you know kind of tear up the tip of your thumb just a little bit so I am gonna do that same thing just gonna cut out the G10 cut out that stainless a little bit drop this down so you can actually use your the whole tip of your thumb instead of, instead of just the very point of it and will make that a lot more comfortable to open and close and then the other thing that I did which wasn't hard to do but I think it made a really big difference was I put in a detent ramp on this and I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that on camera here Get to focus 
right there, the very top of the lock face, you'll see a little triangular cutout. And basically all that does is where the blade hits that detent ball, it just allows you to close it a lot more easily so you don't have a you don't have a big stop right there where that detent ball has to overcome and it just makes it a lot smoother to close the blade. It's it's a minor thing, but to me it seems like it just makes a huge difference. Like this one right here, when you get to that point where you hit the detent ball, you really gotta push to overcome that. And while it's not terrible, it's not hard to do, it just once you see it both ways, it really is nicer to have that cut out right there and to have it just, you know, gently move out of the way. So, minor modification, but I'm definitely happy with it. I have a ceramic, or a, excuse me, a diamond rod, kind of a tapered diamond rod that I use. And all you got to do is take the knife apart. I put some tape on the blade to keep from cutting myself, clamp it down and then just look and see where the track is for that detent ball and right where the track ends at the lock face just take that diamond rod and start slowly cutting a groove right there and being a kind of a tapered diamond rod you can make a triangular groove and just makes a big difference with being able to close this thing so pretty simple to do but I was happy with it overall so made for a nice comfortable modification and I think this one will be really nice after doing that one as well so minor change but helpful so some of the other stuff that I wanted to wanted to show you actually this knife the guy that I got this from has also made some very cool toys that I wanted to share today and actually I asked if he could make one for my son who's into into spinners and bay blades and fidget spinners and you know being seven years old he likes any kind of toys like that stuff that spins so my friend makes these hand turned brass tops and this isn't the smoothest table surface here but these things are very smooth this one sits a little bit lower so it doesn't spin as easily on this table but very neat little toys here just something different cool little fidget items and I was very happy with these so thanks man I appreciate them my son totally loves them we sit around and play with them on the kitchen table and he thinks these are the coolest thing ever so thank you for these always appreciate something new definitely love getting toys so thank you for that and then one of the other cool little items that I wanted to share today this is not actually a Tucson knife they do make some other items besides just knives, and this is one of their newer offerings. This is the Tucson Lighter. I don't remember what the TS number on this one is, unfortunately, but this is a titanium lighter, or I guess if you take the lighter out, it would be a waterproof pill case or whatever, but it did fill it. It does work. It's a little windy out here, but let's see if we can get this guy to light. It might be out of fluid. It does work though. It's pretty cool little lighter. I think it takes Zippo flints. It's got a little wick in there. It holds just a little bit of fluid, but cool little item. I really like the machining on the outside of it. I think uh, you know when you close it, you almost can't tell where the split is. It did a real nice job with lining everything up. And I might actually, since it's titanium, I might try and anodize this and do something cool with the pattern on it. But cool little item. Probably won't go onto my keys. It's a little bulky and heavy but something neat to have around I think I paid maybe 15 bucks for this from D Win 99 so cool little Tucson lighter and then two other items that I wanted to share with you another friend of mine sent these uh, with another knife that I got from him and I don't know some people might turn the video off when they see that this is a clone I personally don't have a big problem with clones uh, only because what they do is they allow you to see kind of the size and the proportions of something that maybe you wouldn't have had an opportunity to see before. So this is the San Renmu Land 912, which is an obvious clone of a Chris Reeves Sebenza. So I actually didn't really think that I cared for the style of the Sebenza, but after checking this one out, I might actually have been wrong, you know? This one's 
it's pretty comfortable in your hand. You know, I'm not really a big fan of knives that are thumb stud opening only. I usually prefer to have a regular flipper tab, but this one's not bad. It opens really easily, it opens from, from both sides, and you can just get a really easy flick on this thing. So, where, honestly, I, I really didn't think I cared for the design of it before, this has possibly opened my eyes to maybe at some point wanting to check out a real Chris Reeve, so I, you know, have a, a frame of reference to compare it to, but as far as clones go, that's, you know, that's why I kind of don't mind them so much, and it's, uh, it's happened before where I really didn't think I liked a knife in general until... I actually held a, a clone of it and could see the size and the proportions and see what it felt like in my hand and kind of changed my mind and, and opened me up to wanting to check out a real one. So say what you will about clones, um, I think for 20 or 30 bucks, whatever this thing cost, uh, I don't know since, since I didn't buy it, but it's not a bad knife. The, the build quality on it is really not bad. Um, you know, it is stainless handle. It's a little bit slippery overall. I know the Sabenzas have some different handle textures to them. Obviously, I wouldn't want a plain, flat stainless like this. It is a little slip, slippery. But, uh, yeah, overall, it's, it's comfortable in your hand. This one has nice, smooth action. It is on washers, so it opens and closes really easily. And then the other thing that I did notice about this, um, since it doesn't have... A hardened insert in the lock bar being stainless handle on Sandvik stainless blade because they didn't figure they needed it and um, I understand with Chris Reeve they don't use them also because the interface between their blade steel and the titanium handle you know as long as it's done well it, it uh, you know it can work just fine without that insert. Uh, if you want a full explanation on that, go and check out Neve's Knives' last video explaining that exact theory. So, um, yeah, understanding this one does not have the insert. The cool thing about that, the detent ball is actually real close to the end of the lock bar. So what that does do is you clear that ball right away and it makes for a smooth drop all the way through doesn't take much you're already pretty much past it when you push it with your finger and then the blade just drops smooth all the way through so pretty cool I'm definitely happy with it you know I appreciate him sending it he wasn't wrong it is a pretty nice knife especially for the price so thank you for that and then the last thing that he included in the package which I thought was pretty cool this is one of those survival credit card tool type deals and out of all the ones that I've seen or checked out this is probably one of the nicest ones. Uh, I know they kind of range from really super cheap and flimsy all the way to, you know, 20 or 30 bucks or whatever. But this one, I think you can get this. I saw a similar one at Walmart for maybe three bucks or something. But it's a nice piece of stainless. Pretty thick, substantial. It, it has no flex, no play to it. So it feels, you know, feels solid in your hand. But it actually is fairly well made. The scraper knife edge blade to it is pretty sharp, surprisingly, right out of the package. And then the one thing that really I did notice was pretty impressive was the saw. It has some really aggressive offset teeth to it, kind of like a Leatherman saw, but it's just very, very sharp, and you could really rip through something with this uh, in a pinch if you needed a, a saw. This is not a bad one, so... If you're going to carry one of these in your bug out bag or whatever, you want to make sure it's at least decent enough to be useful if you're going to have the extra weight and, and have it with you. So this one's not bad for what it is. Um, so I thank him for sending this also. I always love checking out new tools and gadgets and items. So by all means, send them. I'm happy to check them out. So that's what I got for today. Those are my, my new items for the week. Um, definitely... Happy with all my new stuff, so I hope you enjoyed watching. If not, let me know in the comments. I'm sure you will. There's some people that don't hesitate to tell me what they don't like about my videos, so by all means, uh, you know, I'm, I'm a big person. I can handle it. Tell me what you like. Tell me what you don't like. And either way, I appreciate you watching. So if this is your first time checking out one of my videos, think about subscribing. And uh, yeah video. Thanks.